In this module, we're going to talk about educating yourself in the cannabis industry. You want to know everything about uh, cannabis. You want to know everything about CBD, everything about marijuana, um, all the laws, the regulations, um, how the plant is made, um, about lab lab testing, and about future opportunities that's that's coming up in the industry. Um, even in you know it's you know things like credit card processing, which we'll get to later in the course. You want to know all that stuff because you're going to be hit with so many different things uh, every day where, you know, you you got to be abreast on everything about uh, the CBD industry in, in particular and cannabis. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is study up, study up on the laws and regulations, you know, use YouTube, Google. Audible.com, uh, so Audible is a, a great site for books, and you can find different books on the industry. Uh, you can find books on taxes for your business. You can find books on just cannabis in general. You can find books on CBD. You can find books on accounting. You can find books on everything uh, that you need to run a successful business and run a successful cannabis business. Um, so Audible is a great resource um, to do that. Blog sites. Um, I keep a blog site on uh, homesorganics.com. Um, we go and we every month we have a blog. Um, actually, every week. We're trying to get that down to every week. We have a blog going out. Um, and just to keep everybody educated, not only yourself, not only business owners educated, but the consumer as well. So you want to immerse yourself in the industry so you can share your knowledge to the consumer, to the Everyone who, who, who will ask you questions, and you will get a lot of questions. Um, go to networking events as well. And networking events is, is, is not just just, a, just regular cannabis networking events, right? Um, when you go to expos, and we'll talk about trade shows and expos, they're going to be, especially now, I'm starting to see a lot of CBD businesses out there, and people who are trying to get into the industry, um, and they're in the expos as well. So that's your competition. It's also a way to kind of see what they're doing, see what type of, how their booth is set up, right? See what type of products they have, see what type, what's selling, you know, ask them a few questions. You know, it's going to be, you know, you, this is, this is an opportunity to get in and, man, you, you don't even know how big of an opportunity it is to get started right now. And everybody's trying to figure out everything, even the FDA is trying to figure out what's going on, the banks are trying to figure out. So if you can get in right now and navigate everything and, figure out a way to, you know, grow your business in the midst of all this chaos, man, you're going to have a leg up on the competition, right? And and to gain fans too, right? So you want to educate people so they can, you know, they can see you as the knowledgeable brand, the, the, the brand that, you know, they can go to for any type of answer, right? They know your brand. Um, me personally, I'm trying to get the Homes Organics brand out there. We want to be the, the, the brand. When you think about CBD, right? Um, so ex you, you need to know your laws and regulations and you need to abide by them. Do not cut corners in this. Um, definitely uh, do this right. You got to get this step. You got you to gotta continue to learn as well. So let's deep, get deeper into immersing yourself in cannabis, right? So let's, let's dig, get deeper into this. Like I said before, you have to know the law. Obey the rules. Please do this because you will get shut down by the banks. The FDA will send you a letter. They will they will audit your site. People, look, the government is not playing right now, and you gotta be set yourself up from day one. And you, if you know how, if you know the rules, you can play the game. And when you play the game, you know you got it's a, it's a chance right now. I'm telling you, it's an opportunity to win right now. It's an opportunity to gain market share right now in this billion dollar industry. That's going to continue to grow, you know. So, know the law, uh, obey the rules. Some of the rules that I have here is do not sell any any CBD uh, that has more than zero point three percent THC. Right? That's actually a a, a government rule because if you have more, you're going to be you're going to be breaking the law, right? So, you, me personally, my brand, Homes Organics, we have zero percent THC. We not we're not even messing with that. Okay, like. I don't want anybody to say, look, we, you know, we failed a drug test because of your brand. We are getting high. My kids getting high. None of that, you know. Um, definitely want to uh, 
follow this rule because if you, and then you have to have lab tests to show it, right? So you definitely want to follow this rule and make sure everyone knows that you are a brand that has 0.3% 0, 0, 0 of THC or less, right? You had to let the third party testing. Third party testing is essential. You need to have this on your site. You need to have this readily available because people are going to be asking you. People are getting smart now. Like they're starting to read different blogs, right? Hopefully they're reading your blog, right? When when you talk about hey, look out for certain things in the CBD industry. You know, if you can't go in and ask for the lab lab reports and they can't show you or have a way to show you, then you don't want to buy CBD from that. You don't want to buy CBD from a gas station, right? So you got to educate the consumer, educate everybody, and have your Third party testing available because people will try to ask you that. That's going to be one of the first questions they ask you over the next couple months. You got them lab reports? You like, boom, here they go. So, definitely, third party testing is huge. And you want to make sure your distributor, your wholesaler, whoever you're getting your CBD products from, have that third party testing. Do not any, make any medical claims. Do not say on your website, this can cure cancer, this can do this, this can do that. Do not do that because the FDA is searching for all that and they will let you know that, hey, we ain't, we ain't tolerating that. Take that off or we taking you down, right? So you don't want that letter. Like, do not make any medical claims. And consult with a lawyer, right? Consult with a lawyer, always consult with a lawyer. You have to consult with a lawyer. Like. That's just business, right? Especially in this industry, you got to really find you a good lawyer, really find you a good uh, person that's, that's that knows the law and can help you and can guide you. It may be an extra cost here and there, but it's going to save you so much in the long run, right? Transparent packaging is, a, is another thing. Um, and when I say transparent packaging, this is a dog treats, right? This is this is our dog treats. One of our dog treats, Homes Organics, and on on the front on the front is premium grade hemp. We actually just changed the labels because of the FDA. We are trying to navigate what's going on in the FDA. It used to say premium grade CBD, uh, and before that it was pharmaceutical grade CBD. So we we we're, we're trying to we're, we're trying to navigate, and and every time the FDA comes out with something, we are going to be ahead of the game. We'll try to be ahead of the game. Because when they drop, we not plant love. We don't want them to shut us down. So uh, definitely, your even down to your title, even down to your description of your product. So you know you want to have the amount of uh, a CBD per per dosage, right? Transparent packaging on the back. You want to have your nutritional facts. You know you want to have you know made in the USA. Where is it made? Your your actual address, right? your website, you know, the suggested daily use, the ingredients. So you definitely need to have all this. Transparent packaging is huge because who knows what they can come around and, and, and come to your place of business and they can take you out on the spot right there. So you definitely want to have that. Uh, one of the major, major um, resources that I'm a part of is Minorities for Medical Marijuana, right? I found this organization, I think they were doing something on Facebook and I, somebody had sent me that and I looked into it. They were gonna have a, currently I'm in Kansas City and they were gonna have a workshop in Kansas City. So I'm like, you know what, let me go ahead and go. You know, I've already started the brand and I, I wanted to network, right? Just that networking I'm talking about. So Minorities for Medical Marijuana, this is an organization that's trying to you know, level the playing field a little bit. You know, minorities, we, you know, we've been in the on the back burner for a, a long time, and this industry is is ripe for the taking, right? Like, like especially CBD, like the barrier to entry is not, you know, it's not big. Like you can just get in here and 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 take over, build a brand in less than thirty days, right? Um, in three different ways, probably more than that actually. But we're gonna teach you about three different ways. But my motives for medical marijuana, they have, man, I'm trying to tell you, they, Roz is the CEO, right? Uh, and she's um, just in it. You know, she she is advocating for African Americans. She's advocating for minorities. She is rubbing shoulders and bumping shoulders and shaking hands with the big dogs in the industry. And she is, you know, in this thing. We, like, 
we are going to make a way for minorities to compete in this industry. And that's what they're all about. Minorities for medical marijuana. Um, the membership that I signed up for is a startup. You know, I, I have a startup CBD business. Um, and it's $100 a year. A year. To be a part of a, member, a, 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 a networking opportunity. To be a part of an organization. Uh, to, to, you have free, you know, networking experience. You have free business logo and put it on their site and you link to your site. You have a complimentary business uh, consultation. Um, you know, you get you get advertisement and you just get that monthly virtual membership meeting, which is key. Like you, you want to know what's going on in the industry, that virtual uh, membership meeting. They're going to have people on with um, that's from accounting, that's from consulting, that's from banking, that's from everybody in the industry that's going to help people out like because they're trying to connect these industry leaders to minorities and help minorities like me and like some of you uh build up and run a business and get the business from the ground up in any sector whether it be it and cannabis where do it be um you know consulting whether it be uh, like cbd marijuana farming you know all that is what they're they're, they're trying to get everybody they're trying to make a way for minorities to get involved with everything in cannabis. Green Entrepreneur is a, is a huge resource, right? Uh, Green Entrepreneur is basically entrepreneur.com, but they section it out. This is how big the cannabis industry is. I haven't seen this in any industry with that. They have a whole section on their website for green entrepreneurs. Think about that. You know, cannabis business news, latest news, business tips, marketing opportunities. It's all on this site. We're going to go through and navigate the site, too, uh, a little bit later. Ministry of Hemp. Ministry of Hemp is a, the premier CBD blog that, I, that I've noticed uh, so far. And they're always, you know, posting about different brands. They actually post about our brand, uh, Homes Organics. Um, this is, to my opinion, the top hemp blog site in the USA. Um, daily information, loads of information every day. They're always posting on social media. They're always updating their blogs. They always have product reviews, and it's a great marketing platform. And I will, I'll see it growing even bigger than this, um, bigger than what it is today. Um, so Ministry of Help is great. So let's get into some of the uh, the actual um, the websites. So again, this is a. Uh, Minorities for Medical Marijuana, right? Welcome to Minorities for Medical Marijuana. Click here to join. It's this a application that has a about us and you see minorities, right? This is Roz. This is uh, damn, I forgot her name. Uh, don't kill me if you see this. <laughs> but these are these are the people behind Minorities for Medical Marijuana, and they are trying to get it right. So they're they're trying to make a way for African Americans and minorities to, to get into the industry and to thrive in the industry, not just get into it, but to thrive, be business owners. You know, who are we? They talk about it, they're based out of Orlando, Florida, you know, and I've just seen them at the Essence Festival. If y'all know the Essence Festival was huge and they had, I believe they had a booth, they were out there, they were, they were trying to make themselves known and make the community known and make sure that we as uh, minorities, you know, do some things in this industry. Um, they have partners, um, and also these are their corporate partners. Oaksterdam University is a good one too. If you want to learn about um, uh, medical marijuana, actually, I'll put that in the. Let me do this real quick. Oaksterdam. But we'll talk about that. Um, that's a big one, right? So, their programs. These are their programs. Health is Wealth, Ready, Set, Grow, Vets. You can find a physician over here. You see this? Find a physician, find an attorney, event calendar, blogs, dice, you know, news alerts. I mean, they have all this learning seminar series webinar, right? Like, they are trying to give you information. They're trying to give minorities information. Have a place to go for minorities to come here and um, learn about the industry and learn how to build their own brand within, you know, in the industry. So, 
here, you know, click here to join the application. You know, sign up here, new member application, and then you can, you know, you can type in your business name, where you're from, with your email, and everything like that. So you can definitely join that. Um, there's another, here's a 500 hottest candidates jobs. 500 jobs. Download that ebook. Look at this national programs, health as well, CBD and cannabis education. Right? They have all this stuff. Ready, set, grow, HBCU uh, university internship program. Student intake form. Like, they have all of this. Like, I advise you, look at the events right here. They're everywhere. Southeastern Hemp and Medical Cannabis Convention all day in, in Atlanta. Right? Here they're in, um, what is that? details here but we, we look they're everywhere they're every, mentor mondays they're everywhere every day is something in texas look at this more events so they are everywhere i advise anyone even if you even if you're not a minority it's a great site to an, an organization to gain you know you know get some network and you know get information right get information another one is uh Here's that Slack, Slack right here. Minorities from Medical Marijuana. You see Holmes Organics has uh, signed up. And you can see the events and expos, right? Look at this. Events and expos. Business leads. See, Roz McCarthy is the CEO. Business leads right here. This, this is, this is, look at this. Today, somebody, it's, it's every day. Somebody's uh, reaching out and communicating with everybody, right, about this, about this. So, Definitely want to get into this this uh, organization. A uh, hundred dollars a, a year, a hundred dollars a year. Come on now, um, you can have access to all these people, all this knowledge, you know, all this opportunity. Come on now. Um, Ministry of uh, Hemp is what I talked about. The blog site, the the number one, in my opinion, the number one blog site for hemp, and they have everything right. CBD guide, CBD reviews, hemp news. Um, and they talk about different companies, right? Hemp versus marijuana. Look at all this information that you have to, like, think about this information. Like, you need to know this information, right? You need to know, I say, even as a business owner, even as a CBD business owner, I want to know about, you know, my products compared to somebody else's products, right? Um, and that way, when people ask, like, because people have asked me, how are you uh, compared to Hemp Works? Cause that's a big MLM or multi-level marketing thing with CBD. How do you compare to them? And I, you know, I tell them why I, my honest opinion. You know, I've actually tried their product. You know, I tell them my honest opinion. Cause that's what I do. I go out and try the competition product. I buy the competition product sometimes. You know, and I want to know so I can give my honest opinion. Uh, so definitely, uh, Ministry of Hemp is big. You know, they even wrote something about Homes Organics. Uh, should be on here, but uh, definitely is a it's a it's a great blog site. Um, yeah, see, Homes Organic CBD Oil is a pleasant, pleasantly relaxing experience. So definitely, you this is something that you when we talk about um, the marketing strategy, this is one of the marketing strategies that you want to use, uh, and and definitely get into these blog sites and product reviews. So definitely, a uh, uh, Ministry of Hemp is a great educational um, resource. Green Entrepreneur, right? Green Entrepreneur has all these, like every day they're updating this, right? Um, and it's not just not, it's hemp, it's CBD, is is marijuana. I mean, cultivators, like think about all this. Every Think about all this, man. There's a lot to learn before investing. Talk about investing in CBD, like in some of the cannabis stocks. You know, I had a, <laughs> I actually invested in one of the stocks, uh, uh, what is that, the name of it? Anyways, I ended up taking my money. I doubled my money in like two months. And then I took my money out because I needed it for, you know, some other uh, expense. And then it, it doubled after that. Like it doubled, double. you know, and I was like, dude. And that was like in four months time. <laughs> so cannabis stocks is huge you know they got cannabis blockchain if you think about that all this bitcoin stuff look into that stuff too you want to look into all that 
um, because there will be a coin around cannabis. If they're not, I think it's a pot coin. So do your research on all that, you know? So green entrepreneur is big, you know? How cannabis brands can harness the powder, power of digital marketing. Like you gotta think about how you start your business and how you grow your business, right? And this is all cannabis. Cannabis, CBD. Start your own cannabis business, which uh, I, you know, I'm gonna actually buy that book. And I wanna see what they have in there because um, I feel like this program will get you um, up and running quick, right? Within like 30 days. So this has a marketplace, this has a shop CBD. Uh, site and this is uh, actually an affiliate site, right? Which we'll tell you how to how to make here here later on in this course. Uh, look at this; they have different brands, right? Look at this site. Look how beautiful this site is. You know, they and they have a blog. They giving you information, and that's what I'm telling you. You have to you have to educate yourself so you can give information to whoever your consumer is, right? Whoever your target audience is. Every top site that I've known has a blog site. You know, has a blog, you know, area where even Homes Organics, like, you know, not even Homes Organics because I consider myself and my brand a top brand, an emerging uh, brand, a pioneer. So we have a learn, right? Learn our process, our lab reports, what I told you about. Um, CBD uh, profile sheet, CBD Academy, which you're part of, and blogs right here. Look at this blog, Hemp Wellness Blog. Now I'm just talking about all this stuff, right? Educate yourself, educate your consumer, educate everybody. When people come to your site, there's also a good SEO opportunity as well um, because you have all this, these keywords in your site and it can link back. When Google goes to, when people go to Google for a top CBD, boom, your, your site can come up. Think about all this. Everything hemp, this is a, this is a hemp, hemp, uh, greenentrepreneur.com and also Audible, what I told you about Audible, um, with just books, right? So another another site is Amsterdam University Online. Um, so this this site is huge. You know, I want to actually get into this once I build this brand up and cross over into the uh, the marijuana industry, which is no one knows about that, but you guys know. Uh, that's what I aim to do. I, I aim to take over the whole, at least the Midwest, cannabis as as a whole, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but now you all are my my competition. So, you know, let's let's compete. Let's compete and let's help build each other up. And we, you know, one thing I knew about this industry is that, you know, we're educating each other. We're giving each other, uh, we're networking, giving each other tips and stuff like that. So that's part of networking, right? So this is part of networking. So you can contact me at any time. But anyways, get back to this. Amsterdam University. Um, they have courses. Look at this course. This is a horticulture online. If you're into the farming, if you're into the how everything is made from seed to sale, um, this course right here is big. Everything you need to know, legal. See, look at this, politics and history. So what they starting off with is, uh, you know, federal law. Like the same thing we're starting off with. Actually, that's interesting. I haven't even looked at that part yet, but starting off, seed to sell, cutting, clones, uh, nutrients. Look at all this information that you can get for little to no money, you know? Um, lighting, ventilation, like you thinking about if you want to grow, grow your own plants, flowering, you know, conditions, life cycle, CO2, um, pests, how to deal with pests, you know, final stretch, harvesting, indoor horticulture, like you're, look at this, man. You have to immerse yourself in this education and, and when you do, man, come on now, you can't, come on now, hey, let's get it. Let's get it. That's all I got to say about that one. So, again, um, this is huge. Educating yourself about cannabis and the CBD industry is huge. So, you really want to make sure you do this and continue to do this. And you, your business and your, your staff and you and your business will continue to grow. And, and you'll be the, the go-to uh, expert in your industry, in this industry one of the go-tos, so um, thank you.